Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, RealAgriculture.com, and it's wheat planting season. It's awesome. I love it. What are we doing wrong? Uh, why it does it always have to be what are we doing wrong? But we are doing some things that we really have to step back and, and question. So first off, biggest question of the season right now, how deep do I plant my wheat? And why is that the question? Because it is dry, 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 dry. Not everywhere. In fact, amazing, so the sweet spot of Ontario, 74 bushel per acre soybeans planted wheat the day after those soybeans came off and four days later the wheat was out of the ground can you imagine that but they've got good moisture lots of areas very very dry so here's the scenario either we have to plant deep to go to moisture or we plant in dust and get over this concept leave it in the bag till it rains that's all bad because once it starts to rain it may never stop and if it's in the ground at an inch and a quarter I like an inch but an inch and a quarter then once it rains it will start to grow so whatever you do plant the stinking wheat but if you plant at an inch and a quarter and you say I'll wait till it rains yeah who knows when that'll be? That might, in fact, go back far enough. There was a grower who did that and his wheat emerged under the snow at Christmas time because it didn't rain until the end of October in Essex County that year. If you can get to moisture, that's the right choice. So it's kind of interesting because we always talk lots about how deep can you plant and with soybeans in the spring we tell you don't go over two inches because that hypocotyl it doesn't extend enough and they won't emerge. Well if you remember back to we talked about double crop soybeans when we plant double crop soybeans we can plant those three three and a half inches deep and because the soil is so warm that hypocotyl elongation is way bigger same thing early in the fall it's warm so whereas normally I don't want you to plant three inches deep if you can find moisture at three inches deep plant three inches deep and it's so warm that even though it takes a little more heat to get that wheat out of the ground it'll still bounce out of the ground really really quickly and you'll have a nice even stand and you'll have way more yield because we've learned that yield is all about planting date so it's quite clear we have a big variability in this field in terms of where the, the stage of development's at. Some of the wheat is already coming to the two leaf stage. Here I have nothing at all. And what's going on here? Well we start to dig down and gosh we can see that no, that wheat, that wheat's not anywhere near deep enough. And so this is the crux of the issue. You really have to get this wheat into moisture. Now it's interesting, it is winter wheat and people say, you know, with, with soybeans, they need four times their weight in water to, to germinate. And with corn, it needs at least twice its weight in water. Remember how easily wheat will s gain moisture in the summertime when you're trying to combine the doggone stuff and it's 14% moisture or it's 16% moisture at six or eight o'clock at night, you shut the combine down and it's a heavy dew overnight, what's it go to? 19% moisture, 20% moisture. So wheat's a different beast. It doesn't need a ton of moisture, but it needs some moisture. So actually wheat will germinate. There's some research out there that says if you just can get into a humid environment, you don't need real moisture, you need just high humidity, it will germinate and grow. But if you put it into this dust, and this is a pulled and windrowed edible bean field and so they've dried it out a fair bit you don't get it deep enough then you don't get a stand so get that drill deep and get that wheat up and growing couple of other really really important things about this this particular harvest and i see it again it drives me absolutely nuts residue spread what is the mat how many times do i have to talk about this and so you can see here we've got six feet with no residue and we've got 24 feet with residue that's not good enough it's not going to do the job that we want and the other one is weed control weed control weed control this glyphosate resistant flea bane either you spray it with aragon with your roundup before the wheat gets up or you spray it with infinity 
once the wheat is up, they're both registered, they'll both take out that flea bane. This year, it's been another big challenge for us. It's one of those things we can't let go. Meanwhile, get the wheat in the ground, get it deep enough to get it up, and let's break our previous record, grow wheat. Peter Johnson, at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com.